What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to pull a lever. It's going to be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is right click on our content browser and create a new blueprint class. In this case, it will be an actor because it will just be placed in a world. This will be something as bp underscore lever and let's go ahead and open this up. So basically, I gonna make my own lever just by using some simple shapes okay as simple as that of course if you have your own mesh you can use that but I'm gonna be using simple shapes so in my case I just gonna add a cube over here okay and this cube will basically be very thin uh, maybe thinner even I mean let me see the scale right now of this yes yeah, so it will need to be yes a bit way smaller okay so uh, let's put the scale on X to be 0.1 and then on Y to be 0.12, not 0.2, 0.3, something as 0.4, I think. And then here, 0.5, uh, maybe. Yeah, that will work for me. As you can see now, it's way smaller. So this will be like the base, and here we'll have the lever right now. So basically, you can copy exactly the same parameters as me. So it's gonna be like the base. Of the lever so then we're gonna select the default scene root and now add another shape and in this case I'm gonna add a cylinder and this will be the lever itself the one that will basically move I'm gonna basically change the scale so I'm gonna lock this and put like 0.1 and this is more of what I like yes it's a bit better let's make it a bit thinner so uh, we can just put the X in here and 0.0.5.05 and here we have to make it longer, so maybe, I don't know, 0 0.7, 0 0.5, something like that. And now we can give it a default rotation. In this case, when we interact with it, it will go from up and pull it down. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to basically have it like oriented a bit upwards. So basically when I rotate it, it will simply do this. Okay, basically that. With that said, I can kind of place it over here. I think that's pretty good. And uh, then what I'm going to do is inside with a lever selected, I'm going to be adding a sphere. And this will be like the tip of it. So we can inside the, oh, the handle, basically when you grab it, right? So this will be the handle. And this will basically have the location in the center because it will be centered on that lever. And we can put the lock and then you just put, for example, I don't know, one of, uh, no, it's too small. Uh, maybe two, three, yeah, three, it will be good. So now we can move it like I so, so it's there. And it's a bit, even a bit big, so let's put like two. Yes, yeah, that's, uh, that's perfect, I think. So you can play with those settings right now. And I believe they have a red material over here. This is the mesh, no? Uh, material here. And I should have one. If not, we can just create it. There we go, I have just basically a red material. Um, and then I can use in the lever, just put it to be, for example, this one, okay? It doesn't really matter. That is a lever that we're gonna pull, okay? It's a bit ugly. It's actually very ugly. Let's change it to be red too. <laughs> actually like yellow. Ye yellow is good. Okay, good. Much better. So basically, what we're going to do is now, uh, we have it already placed in both. It's facing another way. We can just rotate it. So now I can just go and I'll see this lever. And of course, we cannot do nothing with it. I literally just punched. Okay, so now what we need to do is make the logic of basically turning this lever. As you can see, because we've made the handle the child, it will automatically be panted. So, like, rotate with it. So, that's great. So, let's go into the event graph. Let's delete everything. And what I want to do is right click and make a new custom event. And this will just be pull lever. Okay. So, in here, what we're going to do is basically change the rotation, like I just mentioned. So, what we can do is basically add a timeline because we don't want to directly snap the lever into other plates we want a nice transition animation basically uh, going from up to down so it's more realistic so what we can do is add a timeline so it will basically interpolate between the two rotations and this will kind of just be a uh, pull down whatever well pull up and down because we can basically inverse it later so also go back up okay and we can just go ahead and just enter now we have to create a new track. In this case, it's going to be a float track. And this will be our, honestly, just the uh, alpha. <laughs> okay, an alpha. And then the length will basically be the duration. 
of uh, the, the animation in this case, put something as 0.5. We can play with that duration later on. We now want to add two points. We can just put in whatever we want, just add a new key. But now we need to change the first one to be at zero, zero. Okay, so time zero, value zero. And now add another one. And this time the time will be 0.5, which is where it will end. And the value basically at one. So basically it will be when it finishes. With that said, I can just go ahead and go back into the event graph and we have this value. We want to do a lerp rotator because basically it will transition from this first rotation into the second rotation depending on the alpha. So let's go into the viewport and if we select the main lever over here, we will see this over here, the rotation. Right now, what we are interested in is really only in the y axis, okay? So basically right now it's minus 40. So we can go ahead and plug in here uh, from whatever right now is so minus 40 and then the B will basically be what we want so let's say uh, minus 60 maybe uh, we want way more minus 160 that's too much minus 120 yeah that's a bit better so we'll go to minus 120 so let's put back this at minus 40 and let's put this minus 120 so really the only thing that will change is the um, Y and uh, axis right from there we want to get the lever and do a set rotation. In this case, it will be relative rotation. And we can just put it into the update and plug in the rotation. Now to test this, what we can do is basically just cast. So, so we're going to do is just open my third person cat blueprint, basically to interact with it. So let's say, um, let me just get the G. So for example, when I press the G key, I'll basically just um, do a sphere uh, trace by channel and get everything that I have in front. So in my case, we just get actor location and then the end point will be the get actor location and the radius of 500, okay? Um, and then let's do that if we have hit it something, we just break this so we get all the results. And then what we can do is just get the hit actor cast into the lever that we created and basically just go ahead and uh, pull lever there we go and with that said we can now compile press play and now if we get near into the lever I can just go ahead and press G as you can see it will now turn upside down and what we can do is a flip-flop so every time sorry not flip normal small flip flop there we go so the first time it will basically play from here but the second time it will reverse it so we'll basically pull it back up so now if I do this and I get near and press G, one time will go down, one time will go up. So we can basically interact with this lever. And of course, we could play a sound over here and also change a bit the speed. So what I want to do is just change the length to be 0.35, so it's a bit uh, quicker and also change it on the second thing. So 0.35, now it'll be quicker. And then also lastly, just play a simple sound. Of course, we want to play it before, uh, actually in both scenarios. Uh, so basically it doesn't matter if we are pulling up or down we're just gonna play a sound at location the location is gonna be the get actor location and we can just put a random sound in my case I have friendly story content so let's see this one is okay it doesn't really matter and now with that we have our lever let me move it a bit into a better place over here so I can interact with that a bit easier and that should be our lever. So now, if I were to go here, I can just press G, and there we go, let's put the sound a bit quicker, and that's it. So that's it, guys. If you found this so helpful, I would really appreciate you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials, so I'll go ahead and check them out. Join my Discord server, follow me on my socials, and now, yes, with all said, bye bye.